Good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now, guys, today what I'm going to do is uh, continue our tutorials for script programming. Okay, so this will be part four. Okay. Now, guys, uh, part three, we have created the points. Okay. Then, uh, how are you going to write or how are you going to create the program in the controller? So, what you can do here is like this. So, actually, I already have an existing program. But let me repeat it, okay? So, just to walk you through how you're going to create. So, from the application, you can say you then program. Now, for the program, there will be three selections here. So, function, script program. So, we are going to... Uh, do the script program okay so b3 script program okay so i will say this will be uh win ef underscore pro okay then next then create okay uh, okay so i have here two program ef main prog then win ef pro. okay now i will edit this because at the time being it is empty, so I will edit it. Okay, now my building operation script editor will be launched. Okay, now I will try to share that screen so you will see what I'm doing. Okay, let's give me a couple of seconds. Okay, maybe one minute. Okay, now let me stop my share. Then, okay, where is that one? Okay. Share screen. So this is my script editor. So guys, this is my script editor. Okay. So let me just introduce the editor. Okay. So we have this editor. Actually, this is editor, compiler, all in one. Okay. So I have here the Twin Exhaustion program, which is right now empty. So the main big window here is the place where you are going to type all your script or your instruction okay then we have here the check check is when you try to save when you are saving your program at the same time it will be compiled and if there's some error then it will be displayed in this portion then the binding variables the binding variables are the points you are going to specify in your script program so these are the variables okay we, if you are doing some programming before, then these are the variables, okay? Now, for the properties, what are the tabs? We have the basic, okay? So, this is PS, second. I think that is lapse in second, minute, hours a day, current line. Okay, now, actually, the script program would be automatically, uh, there will be line. Uh, it will be numbered, okay? So, Error, success, so there is no error. Now the state of our program is enabled. Now we can disable it, okay? Then the flow type, this is the important one, looping, meaning it will loop. When you say loop, it will just keep on looping. Let's say from line one, it will, the compiler will try to execute each line, then it will, from the bottom, it will go up to the first line again, and again. Okay, so that is looping. Now, like in a normal programming, computer programming, you need to specify your variables, okay? Now, what are these variables? Of course, our the system that we are going to write is all about twin exhaustion. So the variables should be related to the system, okay? So as you have seen already, I have created the physical points or the points in our uh, B3 H04 controller. You have one run status, hand of out status, street, then fire alarm, and also the points for year. Okay. So here we will be doing also the same thing here. I will declare the variables that I intend to use in my script program. Okay, so how are you going to declare the variables? Okay, now first you will use the okay, wait a minute. So you will use the keyword numeric input. Okay, now actually in uh, programming, computer programming, we have the data type, okay? Data type, okay? Then uh, 
So when you declare variables, there will be variable name, data type. Okay, then you can specify also values. But here, we will start with numeric input. Numeric, then input, meaning when you use the input keyword, meaning you are specifying a physical point. Okay. So what are the physical points we created in the uh, controller? So first is EF100. So I will, likewise, I will use the same identifier here. EF1, OHOA, then SPS. Then, okay, the same data type, numeric input. Then I will say EF1, run, status. Then EF1, uh, rip. Okay, rip. Okay, status. Then I maybe I can create or copy. Copy, okay, control C. Then I will copy the control D. Now here, okay, of course, we need to use a unique identifier or variable, okay. So what else? Okay, I have here physical point also, like uh, input, fire, alarm, SDS, okay. Now, uh, okay, so I have line one and line two there. That variable declaration. So let me save it. Once you save it, the compiler will check for any error. Okay, then it will be saved also. So when we save, as you can see here, check in, check successful, invalid compilation, check binding. So actually, uh, because we have used the keyword numeric input, we are specifying a physical point. So in our properties. As you can see before, we don't have this input tab. But since we define the input points, so automatically the system created this tab input. Okay. Now we have an error here, invalid compilation, because when it tries to prove when your program will be compiled, it will check if the input points are binded to the physical points. Okay. So here, in order... Uh, because if you will go back to basic, okay, if you will go back to basic, okay, there will be no error there, but uh, you have an inv invalid compilation. The, the program should be successfully compiled, okay? So the, one of the errors is this uh, invalid compilation. Okay. Now, uh, okay, so uh, to prevent this error, you need to bind the point. So my variable name, I have to bind it to the physical point, okay, meaning uh, from, from the control panel, there will be two port cable pulled from the monitoring point to the uh, input channel of the controller, okay, I already explained that one in uh, part three, so that's why I encourage you to strictly follow my tutorial, especially those who are uh, beginners, okay. Now, guys, uh, I have also joined membership here. I mean, you can join or be a member of this channel. So you can enjoy the perks because uh, the detailed programming will be offered to the members. Okay? I hope you understand what I'm trying to do. Here, okay. So let's try to uh, bind the points. Okay. So the points are in this B3H04. Okay. So it will be displayed here. So what is the point and the power status? Okay. And about the status, then by default, the value will be selected or will be offered. Select, then let me find the other points. What's that? Run status, run status, okay. Value now trip. Let's find the trip point. Trip, select, then let's do the EF2. We have to select, okay, then we have to run. Select, then we have the two trips, okay. We have two trips, okay, then we have the fire alarm, okay, let's find also the fire alarm point in our controller. 
this one okay okay then when we say oh, guys when you see uh, uh asterisk here meaning this program is not yet compiled successfully so let's save it then the system will try to now oh, guys if it is saving do not interrupt okay so let the system finish what is doing okay so there is no more error here and as you can see there is no more asterisk here meaning we saved successfully and compiled successfully our script program. Now uh, let me define the other points, okay? Because we all only define the input. Now we have also the output. Okay, so what are the output? Obviously, F1, SS, then underscore CMD. Okay, then we have two SS, then CMD. So we are defining another two points here or another variables. Now it will be the output, okay? So these are physical points, okay? Now, uh, uh, okay. So let me save and compile because I'm going to show you because there will be additional tab. Okay, invalid, okay, check binding or syntax. Again, we have some error here. Now, as you can see, this new tab is added to our script program okay so now we have to bind this also so we have to bind it with the physical points okay so ef1 start stop command okay value okay select then here also okay script program so i hope you are uh, getting or grasping the concept as i'm going to Training here, okay. Then save, okay. Let's save it again. Okay, so again, as I said, when your system is saving and compiling, please do not interrupt to avoid some error. Okay, okay so save successful. Okay, now it's finished. Okay, now, uh, again, uh, we already specified our variables in our input and output point, the physical point. Now we can define some uh, software points, okay? So these are values that doesn't uh, have uh, or associated with cable, okay? So meaning, let's say, I will say EF1 healthy, okay? So these are software points. Then likewise, EF2 healthy, SPF, okay? So I have EF1 healthy status, EF2 healthy status. Because when we say EF1 healthy, meaning EF1 is in automatic, there is no trip, okay? Likewise, EF2 is in automatic and there's still no trip, okay? So we will try to, what you call this, we will try to develop this program. Okay? Now here, okay, as I said, once you press the enter key, automatically your instructions are being numbered, okay? Now here, uh, actually, uh, I can use a comment here. Program starts here. Okay, so program starts here because the first several lines are intended for uh, variable declaration. Okay, so program starts here. Now, uh, if you are familiar with basic programming, there is, okay, Line, okay, this line, okay, I will give a name for this line, line, EF, uh, stop, okay, so line, EF, stop, okay, line, EF, stop, okay, wait a minute, uh, let me just check something, okay, so this line, so what are the instructions in this line? Okay, so I will say here, EF1, start the stop command, EF1, start the stop command, equals, off, okay, I will, I will say off, okay, enter, then tab, okay, EF2, Let's get our variables declared. We have to start stop command equals pop. Okay. Okay. So 
I already specified one line there, EF stud stud. Now, uh, let's uh, try to say, okay, see if we have some error here. So actually, in the line EF stop, that is the line where you will stop both of the exhaust fan. Okay. So save successful. If now it is okay. Now here, what you're going to do is to develop now your logic. How are you going to start the uh, ex between exhaust fan or the control of that equipment when, it, when it, those equipment is in automatic? So before writing your program, you need to look for the approved sequence of operation because you cannot, as a BMS engineer, you cannot just write the program as you wish. You will always uh, base your control logic program on an approved sequence of operation because if not, uh, you will encounter a big problem in the field because let's say during testing and commissioning when everything is finished, then that's the time to test and commission the system. Then you are sitting with the consultant and you try to operate it in automatic. Then the consultant will say, why the system is doing like that? Then you have to tell, you have to show him the approved sequence. Uh, Mr. Consultant, based on the approved sequence of operation, this is the system. This is how the system works. Okay, so I tailored my control logic program based on this approved sequence of operation. So they will, if we will see that is the approved sequence of operation, he will not raise comment. But if you have comment, then just respect the comment. Then if it is a big task for you as a BMS engineer implementing the comments, then you can write letter that these changes will cost the building owner or the management of the project a certain amount again. Okay. So that is how you are going to uh, protect your self. Okay. So guys, uh, I think this will be the scope or uh, scope of the part four. So in the next tutorial, we will try to develop the uh, program itself. But guys, uh, we have not yet created the BMS graphics. So part five will be the BMS graphics that will be created in the controller. Okay. So guys, again, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please support the channel by uh, subscribing. Then you can also click the notification bell. You can like, comment, and share the uh, share the video. Now, guys, you can also appreciate the ads being displayed in my uh, tutorial if you really appreciate what I'm trying to do. Again, I'm not claiming any expertise. Actually, my tutorial is for beginners. Okay? Because I want to reach out those beginners. Because when I was uh, beginning, in uh, when I'm a beginner in this field of engineering, uh, it's really a struggle for me. Because... Before there are no, maybe there is already YouTube there, but very less people are trying to teach free those engineers like me who are beginners. So this one is just to share what I have learned from the site and my experience. So again, before I will end the tutorial, uh, God bless us all and let's all be safe. And bye for now.